Bolt just announced their new Figma to Bolt feature. So of course, we need to put it into test against Lovable. Both tools promise you to do the same thing, bring your Figma designs into your real website or real code. And today we're going to be testing speed, the developer experience, and of course the final results. So let's get right into it. This video is 100% AI. Even the designs in Figma were generated using the first draft AI tool from Figma. Here I choose the basic site since I will be creating a landing page. We already know that currently Figma AI tools are not mind-blowing, but we will not be judging that in this video. For the starting point, I'll only be designing the desktop version, and I'm really curious to see how these tools translate that design into the mobile version. Here I am playing around with the customization options, light mode, dark mode, colors, spacing. I was prompting Figma to add a CTA to the hero section, but as you can see that was a total failure and I needed to add that button manually. So I think we can say that the video is actually 99% AI. Even Ramiro got bored here, so he wanted to say hi to you guys. And it took me actually a couple of minutes to realize that Ramiro changed the opacity of the file while he was dancing. With the designs at a decent point, we can start exporting them to Lovable. And for that, we will need to use the Builder.io plugin. If this is your first time you will be using this, you will be probably prompt to create an account for both Builder and Lovable. But don't worry, you don't need to pay for anything. Here I choose the option I'd like the most and then I click open in Lovable. This part took a bit longer, but around after 5 minutes I got the real code for my designs in Lovable. I was actually super surprised by the results. The model was able to, for example, infer that this section was a carousel and even add a couple of more cards to have the horizontal scrolling effect. It also did a pretty good job translating the desktop designs into the mobile version because as you remember I didn't give the model any clue on how I wanted the designs to look on mobile. But honestly, the only part I didn't like about Lovable was that I needed to connect my GitHub account first in order to make any edits to the code. Importing the Figma file to Bold is very straightforward. You link your Figma account to Bold the first time, then all you need to do is to copy and paste the link of the file and that's it. The generation process was also faster than expected. It took around three and a half minutes to complete the whole process. I got these weird errors, but honestly don't know how they affect the results. I think it did a pretty good job with the hero section and also with the carousel, but it added this weird hover effect to the buttons and the placement of the image was not the best.
but where it really failed was with the mobile version as you can see the website is not responsive at all so here's the verdict for me bold definitely wins in speed and developer experience the whole process from Figma to Bold took around 3 minutes versus around 6 minutes from Lovable. The developer experience is a little bit subjective, but I felt the process was more intuitive. I went to Bold, linked Bold to Figma, and copy and paste my file, and that's it. And the other side, Lovable was a two-step process. I needed to start from Figma using the Builder.io plugin. So if it is the first time you will do it, you will need to create two accounts. Also exporting the results from Bolt was super easy. You click on export and then you have a folder in your own computer with the code that you just generate. That's it. I didn't need to link my GitHub account or something like that, like Lovable asked you. Now for the results on the other side, of course, we saw that Lovable gave us a better result and it was also capable of creating the mobile version of my designs. So if I need to choose between one of these tools, I will choose Bolt because they have been around only for three days. And so we know that the results are gonna get better. And the way I use these tools is usually just to have a better jump start for my projects. So I'll care a lot about the developer experience and being able to export and continue with that code in other tools like Cursor, for example. So that's my take. It will depend on your workflow, of course. If you found this video helpful, follow me and catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.